Sanyukta Santosh Pawaskar, the current General Secretary of IEEE RAIT 2021-22. So I welcome you all to the very first video of the placement series. The very main motive of conducting such a placement series is that being a fourth year student myself, I've come to know that the very first thing that we students need is guidance. And that is the very motive and very purpose of conducting such a placement series. So today, we have with us Harshavardhan Deshmukh. So Harshavardhan, uh, can you please introduce yourself? So hello everyone. Firstly, I'd like to thank IEEE for inviting me to share my placement experience with you all. And I am Harshavardhan Deshmukh. I am currently pursuing B from Ramravadi Institute of Technology and I'm in my final year of graduation. So last year in August, I have received a campus placement offer from Publicis Sapient and I'm here to share my placement experience with you all. Yeah. Right. So first of all, congratulations, Harshavardhan, on your placements. And you. um, can you just tell us that around which month uh, did the placement drive for Publicis Sapient start? Yes. So the placement drive for Publicis Sapient uh, was in the month of August 2021. So that was the time during which my fourth year had just begun. And all the things like uh, registering for the drive, uh, coding test, and then technical interview, HR interview, everything happened in the month of August itself. Okay. And also the list of students and selected students by the company was also out in the month of August. Right. So as you mentioned that there were basically three rounds. Yes, yes. The first one being the coding round, technical, yes. and uh, HR round. Yes, so, yes. so can the, you just, yeah, yeah, tell me. So for the rounds, uh, first we have to register for the drive so that we can give the coding test. So for coding test, I think 280 to 290 students were eligible. And the eligibility criteria was, and you should you should have a average CGPA of 6.5 and above. Right. And coming to the coding test, we had two questions. One was of medium difficulty and another one was of hard difficulty. Okay. And again, for the next round, to qualify for the next round, uh, they had some criteria means you had to uh, pass your solution, need to pass certain number of test cases, then only you are selected for the next round. And the scoring test was proctored, means on mic and camera, everything was on, and it was conducted on hacker rank code. So uh, only 15 students uh, were selected for technical interview after the coding round. My interview went for exactly one hour and after the technical interview within half an hour I was notified from our training and placement cell of our college that uh, you have been shortlisted for HR interview so be ready and HR interview also happened on the same day as technical interview. My interview went for 30 minutes and after all these rounds uh, within 3-4 days the results were allowed, results were announced and only 7 people were able to make a uh, Bad. Right. Yes. So, uh, just highlighting the few key points that you just mentioned that the coding test had two questions, right? One of medium difficulty and the di another one was completely difficult. Right. And uh, was it like you had to solve both the questions to clear the coding test? No, no. As I said, uh, there was some criteria. I mean, you, your solution needs to pass certain number of okay. test cases. So only then you are uh, I mean selected for the technical interview. Right. And uh, what kind of questions were asked during the technical interview? So as I told that there was two questions asked, hard one and medium one. So I remember one question uh, of which I was able to solve all the 14 test cases. And the second question means I was not able to solve all the test cases, but 50 to 60% of the total test cases were passed. So the question I'll tell is that uh, there was a truck and it had some capacity to fix certain number of boxes mm -hmm. and even those boxes had some capacity to hold certain number of food packets. So the input was uh, number of means truck capacity was given let's say three and the boxes capacity was given means uh, let's say three boxes can hold five food packets and two boxes can hold six food packets. So based on that you need to calculate a uh, maximum number of food packets that you can deliver successfully and also see to it that uh, no extra food packet means you are not overloading the truck or the boxes. Right. So this was some kind of question asked by this you can means uh, get an idea means what kind of difficulty of questions that were in the coding exam and uh, you can write uh, your code in any language you prefer. 
Right. I also forgot to mention that uh, this coding round was of 90 minutes, so uh, you have to solve both these questions in 90 minutes. Absolutely. And these were yes. coding questions. And um, I would like to know that what type of questions were asked during the technical interview? So, for technical interview, uh, my examiner was really friendly. He started with his introduction first and then he asked me to introduce myself. So the question mainly be, questions were mainly based on BSA part, data structures and algorithm. Mm -hmm. He asked me some real life uh, scenario problems and asked me what data structure will be you will be using. And also a few questions he asked was on DBMS, uh, operating system, system design. So, these are the topic you should focus on. And as I told him that my preferred language is Python, so he asked me a question of if there was a name written in a text file, and you had to read that text file and you have to write that names in another text file sorted alphabetically. So yes, and also he asked me some questions on my project that I had mentioned in my resume, and at the end some groups concept questions were asked. See, if you are technically sound, you have good concept of data structures and algorithm, TPMS, operating system, then I think you could easily be able to crack this round. Absolutely. So, is yeah. there any other, you know, piece of advice for the aspiring students who are, you know, looking forward to be working at Publicis Sapien? Yes. So, uh, during our preparation days, our sir told us that uh, you should be master of one programming language. Absolutely. So, I tried to master Python. And I also had some knowledge of other programming languages like C, C++, Java. Uh, now why? Because uh, in some of the coding tests, not of Publicis Sapien, but of some different company, they have multiple choice questions mm -hmm. in which they get coding snippet. And uh, that that snippet is written in C or Java. So to understand those type of questions, to solve those type of question, you need to have some good knowledge of uh, other languages too. And if you are a beginner, I'll suggest you to start with Java because it is a very good language for beginners and it will help you strengthen your programming muscles, your concepts like object-oriented programming, grouping, uh, scope of variables and many more things. And uh, now, now you might be thinking that uh, my preferred language was Python and I'm telling you to uh, go with Java. Uh, see, what I think is that uh, for beginners, Python is too direct and uh, uh, if you see, if you are not new at programming and you know the basic concept, then go ahead with Python. It is a great language and it will save a lot of typing for you. Absolutely. And next, most important thing is uh, data structures and algorithm. Uh, you need to have good concept of data structures and algorithm. And I used to refer a lot of YouTube videos for DSA questions. Uh, and also did a course on Udemy. Uh, you can search on Udemy. There are many courses available on data structures and algorithm. And the next thing, the next important thing is uh, DBMS. Uh, you should be familiar with at least one database management system. I, in my preparation days, I was uh, doing MySQL. Again, I did courses on Udemy for DBMS. Yeah. And for this, I used to solve a lot of questions on different websites like HackerRank. Uh, lead code and there are many websites available on which you can practice different varieties of problems. It will means it will help you with uh, logical thinking and also help you in solving the question a little faster. And also uh, go through the concepts of operating system like threading and system design too because sometimes they ask the question based on these topics too. And uh, coming to the most important part, the resume because the interviewer just sees the resume during your interview and he just analyze what kind of student you are. So mention, invest proper time in uh, building your resume and mention all the projects and internships that you have done during your college days because sometimes uh, the interviewer will ask you question based on your resume and yeah. the projects and internships that you have mentioned. And I'll suggest to at least do one internship during your college days because it will give you an upper hand who are the other students that are sitting with you for the interview. So yeah, that's it. Right. And really can't stress enough on how important it is to build a strong resume because sometimes yes. what companies do is just scan the resumes and then shortlist the students because in few of the companies, they first check the resumes and then they shortlist the students for the test yes. also. So yes. And okay. for next campus placement, resume is really important. Absolutely.
and for yes. few colleges we have a proper template provided which we can use and also even if you have the templates it's good for students to have a self made template which they can apply for off campus placements also yes yes so and also like what kind of questions were asked during the hr round were it like the simple ones yeah as for hr round i think we uh, had a some set of question which they asked to each and every student Uh, in my case, they asked me introduce yourself. Uh, what are your strength and weaknesses? Uh, how do you contribute in your project group? And from where do you learn technologies? Mm. How do you, and are you open to feedback or not? And are you open to work in an environment or in an organization where people from different places are working? So, such these common questions were asked, and you can search on Google for HR interview questions and. There were many. There will be many questions. You can just practice them with your friends, and it will make you perfect. Right. So after these three yeah. rounds, uh, what role were you offered, and what was the CTC? Yeah, after three round, I was offered training engineer because at the start uh, I'll be having training, mm -hmm. and CTC is seven point five LPA, and is two lakh fifty thousand joining bonus. Right. and um, the role is training engineer so like are you going to have any kind of internship at the beginning or you'll just join directly after your graduation and then you'll have a particular training period or yeah we we will be directly be joining after the graduation and i think they will give us some training sure. so that and then we'll be assigned to some project or something like that right yeah. and what factors do you think about uh, publicix sapi and that it makes a good company to work in especially for freshers Why should freshers look ahead and give their best to join this company? Yes. So uh, during my college days, uh, it was my aim to get into a good company, and I think I have achieved that by receiving an offer from Publicis Sapient. And I have read many articles on internet, and there are some positive reviews given to the organization. Uh, it has some good work-life balance. Project learning is good because they have some. Uh, Good resources available, and it is a great company to learn and to grow your potential for freshers. And it is open to innovations, new technologies, and that is a type of organization which uh, really values their employees. So yeah, what else a fresher do is, and I think I'll really enjoy my time at Publicis again. Absolutely, and I wish you all the best for the same. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. thank you. and um other things that i would like to ask is that how was your overall placement experience was it like stressful or were you already prepared around what time did you start your preparation so how was it for you so to be honest it was a tough journey but at the end it was worth it of all the efforts that i have put in mm -hmm. and during my placement journey journey lot of lot of people have helped me during my placement journey so i don't consider this as my individual or personal achievement but this is an achievement for college faculty friends family and many many more people that have helped me during my uh, since childhood so their contribution is really huge and i'd always be grateful to them and overall it has been a great journey and uh, this experience will stay with me forever great yeah. amazing guys i must say And um, what kind of internships uh, have you done? Like, have you done many internships or just a few? Yeah, internships. I have done two internships during my college days, uh, and the most important internship was uh, in the month of uh, July and August. Mm -hmm. Sorry, June and July, twenty twenty one. So that was on data science and Python. So that really helped me develop my concepts for, and also I. they had given a project so that project really helped me to develop my skills on dbms and everything so yeah that's great okay all right and before we end this session uh, do you think that there is one like piece of wisdom that you would like to share with the students so yes uh, see for coding test if your knowledge is good and uh, your concepts are good you have practiced lots of questions then i think you can be easily able to crack those coding test and for interviews uh, the most important thing is to be confident while answering the question and even if you are not getting the output of the question that the interviewer has asked you 
don't be scared don't be nervous uh, because even he knows that you are a fresher and you can't have all the knowledge in this world so uh, keep in mind that he is just there to check how is your thinking it's how you are uh, thinking through the problem from not knowing the problem to solving the problem so that is what is really important and how to answer in a technical interview i like you to Just go and watch a video on YouTube. Just a search for coding interview at Google, and there is a video uploaded by Life at Google channel. It has some six six point five or six million views. You can just check that, and I think that is the best way, and that is how you should uh, means tackle the questions that are asked in technical interview, and you can just practice that way of answering the technical questions with your friends so that you can get perfect at answer. So yeah, that's it. Yes, we'll try to add these resources to the description box so that students can access it, and yes. you can share those links. And also, we'll try to put in some links that would be very resourceful to the students. So yes, the description box would be full of resources. And also, have you been a part of the uh, I Triple E um, summer internship last year? Yes, yes, in uh, June and July. Yeah, that was really helpful to me. Yes. Uh, they, it was on Python with data science. Yeah, so. we had made some project during that internship and also we had video lectures they uh, used to taught us during the training period and at the end they just assigned us with some project so that was really helpful during my placement uh, then yeah so thank you so much for joining us it was a really good experience to all of us to be here learning from you and getting to know these things from you I'm sure this interview will really help students to understand and decode their placement before in even starting. So I believe it was a great piece of advice from you, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yes. Hey everyone! So it was everything that you needed to know about the on-campus placement drive of Publicis Tapian. This is just the first video of the placement series and we'll be coming up with many more such videos. We'll be trying to cover as many companies as possible that visit our college that is RIT. It will not just help RITians but also to all the students from other colleges who have similar companies visiting their college for on campus placement drive. Right? So please let us know that which company would you like to know about in our upcoming series. so make sure you comment it and also share this video with your peers so that it will help them for their placements thank you so much for watching and make sure you use all the resources that are given in the description box see you in the next video